Hello everyone, welcome back again. So this is our weekly reading for Trump. We're gonna go from May 13th through the 19th. Um, hmm, I guess we'll see, maybe it'll come through in the cards whether or not he will be attending Barron's graduation ceremony. Oh goodness, but most of all, I wanna see how he's gonna do in court and um, yeah, <laughs> beyond that. So, okay, let me just swap out cameras and bring you over to my table. I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to do a grand tableau on the, I um, can't really call it the Stormy Daniels trial, but I, I do want to, and I'm, I'm using uh, Chiro Marchetti's Kipper, although I have had to remove, because I don't have a, I do actually have a, a grand tableau cloth big enough, but I have to use little mini cards and you can barely see them. But anyway, a traditional uh, kipper only goes to 36, so I had to pull out 37, 38, and 39. And I think it's okay because, you know, we, we all know he's, it's costing him big money and uh, bigly. <laughs> and he's poverty consciousness. It's his karma. Uh, he doesn't really do toil and labor. I, and this could be our card for the jury, but I can, I'm trusting that we'll get the jury outcome anyway. Because we have the houses, and then we're going to have, you know, the traditional 36 cards. So, okay. Oh, let me settle in. I want the truth, only the truth. I want to leave out my my bias, my head, my whatever opinions to get the, the cards laid out correctly and ascertain how will this um, this trial go for Trump that really is an election interference trial It doesn't matter what they think about Stormy Daniels. It really only matters, as far as the jurors, it really only matters if they think that she's telling the truth. So... And then all next week will be Michael Cohen, and he'll come through here too, of course, because we do have six people cards. Even Melania will come through here, just you know, because there's no reason to take her card out. And I, I would never do that anyway. Okay, so Donald John Trump, how will this trial go for you? What will be the end result when it's all done and tied up? And even, because we know he will, even after they appeal it, he will appeal it. How will this go? How will this go? What will be the end result for Donald John Trump? Drump, actually. Mr. Bent. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. This card coming through in his house tells me that they're going to see him as the con artist grifter that he is. Melania is not feeling well. She's in a bit of a down patch. Their marriage may be going through divorce proceedings of some type or some type of an official done. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot this cloth is not really made for this size. Okay, bear with me while I get the cards laid out and then I'll dive into it. And I'll go as fast as I can. Uh, this one I do think is Michael Cohen. So those of you who are uh, my members or have taken my membership uh, at the lessons level and you know how to read these cards, uh, there you go. You, you, you'll be able to help me out here too because you, you might see something. It's always good to have a second, third, fourth, tenth, whatever set of eyes uh, to catch the things that maybe I'll miss. Hmm, that's interesting. 
this coming through in the court court uh, card. This this is his, this is that Susan Nicolese or Nestles. Her name is not Necklace. Just like Trump's name isn't Trump, it's Drumpf. She's hiding something with that, calling herself Susan Necklace. And and so sad that the all the um, newscasters kind of just have to report it that way. But anyway, ooh, there's Melania in the gloomy thoughts. Whoa. Okay, so the gloomy thoughts it hasn't come through yet. Oh my goodness, and there, there he is. Whoa, wanting to, um, wanting to run away, drugged out. Gloomy thoughts. Where's the card? Oh come on! Oh my God, why am I not seeing it? Here's our despair card. Have I lost a card in my deck? Oh no, it's right here. The <laughs> okay, gloomy thoughts in in uh, or Melania is in this house. So this tells me that Melania is feeling uh, very down. She's going through emotional issues. She's going through. Uh, feeling helpless and very insecure because she has attached herself, you know, in her transactional way uh, to, to Trump. And this is one of the four corners. Wow. Okay, normally I would start up here and do the four corners, but you, there's always a rule when you have the, um, when you're doing it, well, well, even when you're working with a smaller, like a mini grand tableau, you start where the person's card is that you're reading on. So I'm starting here, okay? And you guys have listened to me long enough to know that when a person card lands in this house, I mean, this, down at this right-hand corner, no matter how big the spread is, that all of the upper cards and houses, which is, you know, an area of life for him, are weighing down on him. And because he's headed in this direction, he has to deal with his past, and it will affect him the most in these ways, but he has to deal with his past before he can move forward. Okay, uh, but first of all, just name that he came through the, the, the uh, Hope, Great Water, Good Water in this deck um, house, and that has to do with his longing his wanting to run away, his wanting to escape, his, uh, and, and then on the deeper spiritual levels, like, you, you know, we could all say spirit. He doesn't have a spirit or a soul. Well, yes, he does. His spirit is completely covered with a very dark soul, a lot of dark <laughs> soul substance that just, you know, makes him blind. But what, uh, what's coming through with this, with his himself coming through in this house, it has to do with the possibility, or the real, actually, I'm sure, that the truth that he not only takes a lot of drugs every day to try and escape, uh, he may want to escape to a foreign country, doesn't look like it'll be successful even if someone gives him the money to do so, uh, yeah, and that coffin card comes through in the Great Fortune house. So the Great Fortune card right here is canceled out, even though that's all he ever thinks about. That's his strategy in life, is just to amass enough money to buy his way. And it, this is a big no card. That will not happen. He will have a very painful loss in that department. So I... Uh, you know, you can even look at this whole line here and pointing down to him and get some extra information. But what I'm seeing here is that he's drugged out. He wants to escape. He can't handle it. He's probably drinking when he can't get his hands on the drugs quick enough because, you know, the... Um... Then again, you know, he snorts all kind of, kinds of stuff. And if he snorted Adderall all his life, why wouldn't he snort some, a downer to be able to handle it, you know? I'm sure he does this once he gets out of court. Um, then again, uh, maybe he's on a soul level actually learning something. I kind of, 
Yeah, you know, I mean, the court proceedings would teach him something, but um, is he really open? But on the subconscious, unconscious levels, maybe he is learning something. We have to kind of hold space for that. Well, or I do. You don't have to. <laughs> okay, so he is looking at his reputation that has been gone over because it's in the long way house. It's been gone back over and over and over and over again. They've been developing uh, information. They've been, this has been a, a long, long development that has been very persistently going into his uh, reputation. I mean, they're going way back, way, way, way back, right? And it has to do with, so here's, here's what he's really looking at that's going to get him the most. Oh my gosh, look at that. Imprisonment in court official house. Wow. I think he's going to wind up doing some jail time. And, and longer and working in prison. Wow. Uh, longer than just a day or two for a gag you know, violation, gag order violation. Wow. Okay, because this row is what he's looking forward to. And remember, all of these cards are what is weighing down on him. He has the entire deck of cards weighing down on him. His house of cards is finally, you know, kaput. Uh, so he's looking forward to people that worked for him in the past, that he had meetings with, that know the truth, to uh, question, you know, his reputation. We all know that, you know, his reputation is just garbage. And he's looking forward to trying to work things out with Melania. Like, maybe at least I'll have Melania, right? I don't think so. Because what's behind her back, she's, she's looking at him like, how could you let this happen, right? At least they are looking at each other. And this would, this would also be probably, you know, him going to um, Barron's graduation. Yeah, and notice that in the child house up here, we do have the court order that allows him to, uh, to do that. And that's weighing down on him. He doesn't really want to go. And I wonder if he might be booed or something even. Because... This is a this is sad news coming down. This is knighting to him as well. And uh, it's knighting over here to the, the sorrow card that has to do with... <laughs> that, that is actually uh, this card here. Helplessly lost and waiting with no ability to control the situation at all. And that's what's sneaking up on Melania. Uh, and, and him, he's looking forward to, his future is him uh, being sad, being uh, majorly depressed, Can't, I mean, it just doesn't even want to be here anymore, be, be in his body, be in his, this is how he's really feeling, and this is in the house of illness, so we're talking major mental illness, Self-sabotage is the, one of the key words for this card. Being tortured with worry and stress. It's like the Nine of Swords that does not let up. Major demands being put on him. Uh, he's not sleeping at night. And he's in this, like I said, you know, this, this period of self-destruction. And this is a card of hangovers. Right? He's... His card comes through in the house of drugs, alcohol, escape, wanting to escape. And, and also, he's looking forward to hangovers. And I can't say that this card only means restriction anymore. I mean, I, I could if I wasn't doing a grand tableau, which, you know, because now I have the houses. So I can comfortably say, unless I drew the wrong cards or got them in the wrong order, that uh, his imprisonment is official. The, the, the uh, official person, and then we have the, the, the official person, it's official, all this is weighing down on him, but then the courthouse, or I'm sorry, not the um, uh, courthouse, the um, 
it's this one up here, the adjudication card. Yeah. <laughs> you see what screws people up when 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 they change the names of um, this is this is what Chiro Marchetti has done, and this is my biggest beef with him. He just took it upon himself to change the names of the cards. So, and it's really adjudication. Does anybody use that word adjudication? Did they ever? I I'm not sure. But anyway, um, squirrel. <laughs> This card has to do with complaints. This card has to do with, and this would be in the good gent um, uh, uh, house. This has to do, this might be uh, connected. No, I still think this is Michael Cohen here, but Michael Cohen's older than this guy. Um, where is the good gent card? The actual, the dude right here. Oh, yeah, this could be Michael Cohen's card here because, you know, he did help Trump in the beginning. Yeah, and he is, he actually is, um, you know, this this is what he's gone through. Whew. Okay, so... <laughs> Fatality for the, in the mature woman house? The, uh, this this could well we can read it in a couple different levels but I think this is Trump's attorney that Susan whatever Nechelis or Nickelies it's not necklace i uh, in the house of fatality that's like having that that's like her wherever you know her house would be putting the coffin card in it she's going to go through a painful loss. She's going to go through a painful loss. And somebody commented a while back that she you know she had, used to have a quite a um, uh, good reputation. <laughs> well, she's ruined it now. And that's further reinforced by the fact that her card knights to uh, the adjudication, and, and we have the card of imprisonment there. So she's going to be restricted in her reputation and she's, I don't think she's going to be able to keep him out. She's not going to be able to keep him quiet. So this card bodes well for gag time jail, but also maybe going to jail because it is a federal offense to, uh, <laughs> to create a, an election subversion uh, scheme and follow it through. Wow. Wow. It's a conspiracy. He had a conspiracy to commit fraud in order to get himself in the White House. And that's what he's being tried for. Okay, so let's see. And then he's also looking forward to work in prison uh, of some type. It might not be terrible work, but uh, then again, wouldn't love seeing him make uh or do a laundry or in the in the what would it be in the, in the kitchen i don't know the kitchen word for prison but or making license plates okay so now that i've covered him this card knighting let's see hold on this card knighting up here tells me that this would be uh the soul journey that he's on and all the travels that he has done over the years and the amount of money that he's spent on traveling might, uh, there, there might be, well, on one level, this is him in his strategy to um, remember when he was on the plane, getting on the plane, when, when he was, uh, you know, it was Air Force One, he was getting on the plane, and, and he told uh, this reporter to ask Michael Cohen about, you know, what happened. Like, he didn't, First, first of all, he didn't know anything about it. I asked Michael Cohen, he's my lawyer, or he was my lawyer, or whatever he said. <laughs> and, and then, you know, that didn't work out later, so he spins it another way, another way, and another way, right? So he's being recognized as someone who just really can't stay on... I mean, he, he's just, he's such a... I, I can't even think of the right word uh, when it, when you're just pathological. He's a pathological liar. This man is a pathological liar. And that has been proven over and over and over again. So, okay. 
I think I should do this column because it's weighing it's right on his head, right? I and then I'll I've got to remember to do the four corners. So well actually I'll do the four corners right now and then end it this way. So he is extremely mentally ill and concerned and feeling helpless. This is in the house of helplessness. Now also when we're talking about timing, and here's the expectation card. Timing, uh, there's, there's no timing for the sorrow house other than, you know, you just have to keep trying to work with it. But timing for this card can be two to three weeks or two to three months. And the trial's already been underway, what, about a month maybe at the most? So we can expect in the next month or two that it'll be done and wrapped up. Okay, so he, super concerned, about getting caught with his grifting, being known as a grifter and a con man. And I think that is what we, what we got last time. Remember last week we had the um, hanged man reversed up at the top, which is my card for traitor. And I was asking, what would, how does the jury feel about him? And this, this spread is reinforcing that they see him, because this is all about the jury, right? They see him as a con man as a traitor, as a thief. Already they see that. And then following it over here, uh, he is expecting a change in loyalty, even with his children, somehow. And uh, there's, <laughs> oh my God. What's hanging over him is a change in loyalty New infant card, infant house is about something new that uh, shows his naivete and his um, inability to think like a mature individual. And also it might bring through discovery about a child in the past. And as far as the, the one, you know, with the... Um, the one that's saying that she had a baby or whatever, uh, the doorman, whatever, that had the information because there was a maid that worked for, for him. I think that, that he gave her the money to have an abortion. I, I don't think the child was ever born, honestly. Uh, so anyway, the courthouse card in the house of finding something new, we're talking new discovery, of something that's really, really important. This is new discovery in all these charges that are coming down on him, all these felonies that are coming down on him. The judicial process will bring through the most important decision of his, or important importance upon him, literally on his head. Um, and 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 you know what's he going to do? He's got he ha he's has to surrender to it. And then also how he risked everything, absolutely risked everything just to get what he wanted. And the, in the house of un, unexpected rewards, um, unhoped for money, he would risk spending all types of money doing whatever in order to gratify himself in order to, um, you know, have some type of, like, insurance. He was trying to have, he's trying to create insurance in order to get into the, um, you know, into the White House. And that's further reinforced by um, this line right here, you know, because this is, <laughs> this case has documentary evidence. This case is based on documentary evidence. He signed the checks. He had the partnerships uh, with Michael Cohen. He had the partnership. He had the, the uh, business arrangement. And they're diving into that in incredibly. And, and then look what's in the house of dishonesty. So the dishonesty card is the, this one right here. And this one is in the house of, uh, you know, court matters, legal, it, it's in this card's house, right? 
So the jury is seeing him as lying to the court, and they, there's new discovery that keeps coming out about that. We're like tying these two together. And then uh, there's new, because we have the infant card here, there's new uh, legal information. There, there's some new discovery about uh, about somebody's going to be giving. Somebody from his inner circle is going to, and it's a younger person, is going to be giving information about new information about this this so this will be coming out later wow and what's her face that calls herself necklace um, she's going to try to change it up in a way that somebody she's going to try to make somebody flip but it's not it's not going to work somebody from his inner circle is literally going to flip on the the uh, decision or the um, agreement you know like remember how hope hicks now this would be hope hicks here and sad news she definitely you know crocodile tears on the stand but she did I don't really know that there are total crocodile tears because I think that the feelings caught her feelings caught her off guard because she felt like she betrayed Trump, right? And look how these cards knight together. This is Hope Hicks and the damage that she did. And we ascertained that last week with the reading last week that she really damaged uh, the defense. This is an ending for the defense here. Now, this could be Eric, who showed up, because, you know, he's next to the, the family, you know, clan. This could be uh, Eric, who showed up to help him, because no one else had been there. <laughs> and whatever. He made his appearance. Uh, hmm. This soul journey that Trump is on is just going to continue to go back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. I... Uh, and he's just going to do his best to work it legally. This is this is an attorney card. Yeah, the people who are donating money into Trump's uh, campaign, uh, and as as well as uh, Melania, they're they're just going to go through a, a huge down patch. Not that she's donating money, but she, because this card is in her house, she'll go through a big down patch. Uh, and she'll want to just give it all up and, and get out of Dodge. There's, there's knighting here. Yeah. Okay. So opening up the reading, usually you use do the first three or four cards. So for he and Melania, they're both con artist grifters, and, and the jury sees that. The jury already, already, because we're a, a, about a month into it, they, they already feel this way. And they feel that it's been a marriage of con convenience and transactional, you know, type of um, uh, strategy. And to have the official person or the military official uh, in the marriage house, this tells me that, um, you know, she can't, it, Melania would never have to, um, uh, what's the word? you know, testify against him because they, when you're married, you, that's not a thing. But um, that's not a legal thing that can happen or does have, she could if she wanted to, but she doesn't have to as a deal. Is she going to testify against him? Mm, I don't think so. I think she would feign that she's too ill to do so or whatever. But uh, nobody, I don't even know I'm talking about that. It's just that the cards kind of gave me this idea being that it's in the marriage house, but we do have to remember that the marriage is all about partnerships, all about business partnerships, a bond that is made. And for him, it's just, you know, business. Even his, even his close relationships are just, it, to him, it's transaction. That's, that's what a born psychopath does. Now, 
So this tells me that his partnerships, based on uh, <laughs> based on the fact that he's trying to uh, finagle to get himself into the White House, into this official capacity, and he was willing to risk it all, like I was saying before, and that was his strategy. This is what this is absolutely what the jury is seeing already. They're seeing him in his official capacity as a person running for a political position. He had this strategy to uh, bring in all of the people he could in his inner circle and uh, get a solid plan. This is uh, could could be. I mean, I this is more Michael Cohen's age. But then this would be the legal strategy for Michael Cohen to, um, you know, it turns out that he had the idea to mortgage his house and get a loan and, you know, all that. So, so that, that's all here. But it's somebody in Trump's inner circle that has given it up. And besides Hope Hicks, I think someone else will. So this might be, what's her name, Westerhouse? Uh, she's not going to be helpful to him either. Because she's gonna, there's, there's flippage. This is my card for flipping, and this is my card for flipping. And she, so it's going to be the women in his life, the younger women that took care of him, and even, you know, run a graph. She was, she was younger when she did, you know, the work for him. And even though she got on the stand as an older woman now, it, she was reflecting back on the younger years, right? And she. It, it, she stayed as loyal as she could for Trump, but she proved that <laughs> she testified that Trump had Stormy Daniels' number, phone number, and uh, Stephanie Clifford's phone number, and that was her role in the testimony. So that's showing up here too. Whoa. Um, and like I said before, he. Well, even Ronna Graff or Ronna Rona, whatever, um, or any other older woman that worked for him, could, kept records for him. See all that. They, they so what they've gotten so far, it, his the younger and the older woman testimony that gave the actual um, the, because they have the documentary evidence, right, and the testimony. Here's the testimony here. And they have a great, a, a tremendous amount of testimony. That ship has already left the station, or that train has already left the station. That ship has already sailed. And that is going to put him in a box that he can't get out of. This is like nailing the coffin. This is on top of him, nailing the coffin. And all he can look for, forward to is, oh crap, what have I done? Can't think of anything else. You know, OCD going on over here, obsessively, compulsively going around and around and around in his head. Am I going to be working in prison making, you know, what am I, what am I going to be doing, right? He's wondering. And so is Melania. She's not feeling happy about it either. Uh, because, of course, that means it's the end you know, here's this is a divorce card. When you have cards like this nighting together, she's wanting to divorce him because there's no more money to come in. There's the, no more, no more sudden wealth coming in because it's all. And and here we have her as a lying, cheating grifter, like right over her. You want to figure out who a person is? You you look at the cards around, right, where she married him as a job. And um, now it's it's very sad and yeah. Let's see. Is there anything else? I thought I've really, I mean, yeah, I could spend more time on it, but I don't see a reason because what I'm getting here is that the discovery, there's going to just continue to be, or there'll be enough new discovery that comes through that will lead to, and it will come out via. Uh, younger younger women that uh, worked for Trump 
or how he even worked to create wealth. You know, this doesn't, the privileged lady card, the meaning of the card, it doesn't have to be a person, but the traditional meaning of the card has to do with, with um, creative wealth, health and luxury and pleasure and all the good stuff of life. Um, I mean, it can be a colleague and it can be an associate. It can be even a female relative or a female friend. Uh, maybe it's sad for him that, that um, Ivanka never showed up, and it's sad for him that Stormy Daniels gave the, you know, gave the message about smacking, uh, told everybody that he, he, wanted, he wanted her to smack him with this rolled up Forbes and, and, and that she reminded him of his daughter. That came out. This is his inner circle of uh, what he did. You know, I mean, the living room is like his four walls. This is what he did with Stormy Daniels. So this is not only Stormy Daniels. This is also Stephanie Clifford. This is also the stand-in card for um, uh, Hope Hicks and uh, the gal that's on this, what's her name, Westerhouse, that will be testifying today, or maybe already has while I'm doing this reading. So, yeah, so there's that. But remember that primarily this is a card of obtaining and creating wealth and this card is you know usually has to do with legal issues but it's it's also um, somebody who plans for their career and has a lot of ambition to like climb the social ladder this is also a card for a company business and so here this would be as interesting to have the house card, this would be Trump's real estate, Trump's um, uh, just, you know, everything that he has, his foundation, his financial foundation, his heritage, uh, his security, and all of his material possessions, and his family history and ancestry, all of that are tied up in this home, I mean, this house. Uh, and so here we are with this card in the rich girl house. So he had a propensity to always go after younger, wealthier women or any, you know, woman that he could use, right? We've got all that. And he didn't mind paying them. He always, you know, he didn't mind paying at all. That was the deal. Um, and, and now it's all coming out legally. You know, this is all coming out. The, all of this discovery... So I would say, to close this up, I'm just going to say that the rest of the discovery that's going to come through will be about uh, his career plans, his ambition to be this guy with all of that and to get beautiful women into his, into his um, inner space, into his home, into his the four walls into wherever it was you know because he has homes all over the world and he didn't mind paying them at all right and it's always about money for him and and that's all he did is he traveled and got women wherever he could uh, amassed real estate as much as he possibly could and this is going to be the important discovery that keeps coming down. So they're, they're going to see him. These, these jurors uh, are going to, uh, by the time it's over, see him as just this old, rich, white dude that, that used women and did everything he possibly could, lying, cheating, stealing, uh, grifting as much as he possibly can in, in order to uh, make himself feel better. And the, they even see him as losing his wife because of it, even though I'm sure they don't have any respect for her either. I, I doubt it. It doesn't look like it. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get this uploaded. If you guys want to add to it, feel free. <laughs> Just remember, uh, it's uh, for nighting, it is... Well, actually... Yeah, no, I already covered that. It's, it's always uh, two over and one up. Like that. So this card knights to these four cards. So if I missed anything, go ahead. And then, or it can be two down and one over. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. 
Melania doesn't feel good about all these younger women. It's sad news for her. But, you know, she already knew it. it. I think it's sad for her that it's getting out to the public because of her pride. It only hurts her pride. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take good care, you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.